Welcome to another exciting chapter 3 video on stoichiometry and chemical equations. In this video I will teach you about percent compositions. So we chemists sometimes have to calculate a compound's percent composition, which is the percentage by mass of each element in the compound. This is done by using the following formula. Percent composition of any specific element within a compound is obtained by taking the number of atoms of that element, multiplying it by that element's atomic weight, and then dividing it by the total molecular weight of the substance. We discussed molecular or formula weights in an earlier video linked to in the description below. You then take that and times it by 100 to get a percent. Now, this might seem baffling, but think about it this way. Let's say you got a 45 out of 50 on a quiz or something. How would you determine what percent you got on that quiz score-wise? Yeah, you take 45 divided by 50 and then times it by 100. It's the same thing here. If you had a compound whose molecular weight was 50 and you were asked what percent of that compound is carbon, how would you figure that out? Well, you have to figure out what the mass is of all of the carbon atoms in that formula, put that in the numerator and then divide it by the total mass of everything, including the carbon, 50 in the denominator, then times it by 100. And that's pretty much it. Now the best way for me to show you how to do this in practice is to take a look at some lecture example problems. I want you to calculate the percent composition by mass of carbon in each of the following compounds. All right, let's go ahead and do this on the board. So let's start with A, cocaine, whose formula is up here. Now, cocaine, each molecule weighs a certain amount. What amount is that? Well, you have to do the math here. Each carbon weighs 12, and I'm rounding. It's not the exact atomic weight of carbon, but I'm just rounding. So the molecular weight is going to be 12 times 17, because there's 17 carbon atoms in one molecule of cocaine, and each one weighs 12. And then I'm going to add to that. Each hydrogen weighs 1. That's hydrogen's atomic weight. Again, I'm rounding. And there are 21 hydrogens here. Each nitrogen weighs 14, and again, I'm rounding, but you can you know, kind of look that up if you want. And each oxygen weighs 16. So there are 16 oxygens, and we times that by 4, OK? So you add all of that stuff together. That gives us the total molecular weight of this really exotic formula, which comes to 303, OK? So what percent of that 303 is just carbon? Well, the total mass of everything, everything, everything in this molecule, including the carbon, is 303. The mass of just the carbon by itself is 12 times 17, OK? So I put 12 times 17 in the numerator. Now remember, we want to get this in a percent, though. So this is kind of like a grade on a quiz or a test. If you got 57 out of 70 on a test, what percent would that be? We take your 57, put it in the numerator, divide it by 70, and then times it by 100. Same thing here. If I've got total mass of 303, of all of the atoms, including carbon, but the amount that's just carbon is 12 times 17. I put 12 times 17 in the numerator, put the 3 of 3 in the denominator, and then multiply the whole shebang by 100 to get the overall percent that's carbon. And that's what we're talking about here. So that comes out to be 67%. And you might argue with me on the significant figure rounding on that. Um, you know, given the fact that I rounded all of these terms to be two significant figures, I think that that's probably where we're at. Again, I'm not a huge stickler for significant figures, but there you go. All right, now let's do the same thing down here for vancomycin, a very important antibiotic reagent. So the total mass we're going to get here is going to be 12 times 55. 55 carbon atoms in this thing. And then uh, 1, because each hydrogen weighs 1, times 75. And then we're going to add to that each um, chlorine, if you look at its atomic weight on the periodic table, is about 35.5 times that by 2, OK, because there are two chlorine atoms in this formula. Each nitrogen weighs about 14. And I'm going to times that by 9, because there are nine nitrogen atoms in each molecule. And then each oxygen weighs 16. So I'm going to times that by 24, because there are 24 oxygen atoms in this formula. So 12 times 55, 1 times 75, 35.5 times 2, 14 times 9 for the nitrogen, and 16 times 24 for the oxygen. Wow, that's a really big formula. Anyway, you do all the math on that, and you end up getting a molecular weight for this molecule of 1,316. Now, what percent of that total 1,316 is just carbon? Well, we just put the carbon amount, 12 times 55, in the numerator and divide it by 1,316 in the denominator, and then take that and multiply it by 100 to convert it into a percent. When I do that, my calculator, I end up getting about 50%. And again, you can debate uh, with regard to my exact Rounding on the significant figure issues, depending on how far, how many decimals you took out each 
uh, atomic weight there. But that's kind of beside the point. My point here is not to teach you the sig fig rules, which I've done in an earlier video linked to in the description below. My point here is to help you determine how to deduce an element's percent composition from its entire molecular weight in a given formula.